Neville Glover, Michael Cronin, John Dorothy, Kerry Boosted, Alan Thompson, Tom Rodonicus, Ray Price, Rod Reddy, Graham Wynn, Craig Young, George Paponis as captain and hooker, Rod Morris. And the coach, of course, of this team is Ted Glossop. Tommy Rodonicus is in his 10th consecutive year of city and country clashes, which makes him, apart from being a very fine player, some sort of a survivor. It's a phenomenal record of consistency and says a lot for his great enthusiasm. He'll give young Steve Topper, the country halfback, I would suggest a fair workout today. Now the countryside coming out, Greg Wider, Stephen Lowe, Mark Wright, Simon Brockwell, John Jarvie, Brian Walden, Steve Topper, Paul Melross, John Beecher, Paul Graham, Peter Young, Brian Love and Russell Williamson. The coach is Bob Weir. Steve Topper, well this jockey sized half from Illawarra West had a season with Souths in 1979. He was used not only as a halfback, but would you believe also as a hooker. A very gutsy player. He's going to have his hands full today, not only with the other 12 City players, but also with Tommy Rodonicus. Now, the record of matches since these were instigated in 1928, there have been 54 games. City have won 45, Country 9. Points 4, 1567. City, average of 29 a match. Country 676, average of 12.5. Last year, City won 29 nil. The last time Country won was in 75. They won 19 to 9. City have won both first and seconds 33 times, while Country have won both twice in 28 and 37. And they were pretty close in reserve grade, or the second team today. City seconds won 17-16. The referee in today's fixture, Mr. Greg Hartley. City running from left to right in the yellow and blue uniform. That's the yellow jersey, the blue shorts, and country in the maroon top with the orange shorts running from right to left in possession. And, uh, one gets the impression this country side are going to get really into it today. They're a very, very dedicated group of youngsters. We shall see. Only time will tell. Topper, away to Walden. Good turn of speed, this lad. He's from the North Tamworth uh, area. Peter Young, formerly of the Western Suburbs. It's a bit of a, a work out there from Craig uh, Young. Probably a long memory. Young talking uh, with Hartley. It's Greg Wider. The fullback comes up to take this kick for touch. It's about seven, eight metres, their side of halfway. Brilliant conditions here at the Sydney Cricket Ground with uh, a light breeze coming from the northeast, Barry Ross. Yeah, slightly across field and favouring country. Right, well... Uh, favouring city, I should city, say. City, you should have said, Barry. You're obviously not a nautical man. Northeast is up in that Paddington corner. Now, Young gets the pass away nicely, and there's some pretty strong defence there in midfield by Ray Price, too. Country now, well and truly on attack, a good attacking position as Russell Williamson from Erina takes it up. And a penalty, shepherding there. Ran behind one of his own teammates, did the uh, country lad. Interfered with the defender coming in. Toy cast brought to you by Wesco Motors and your local Mazda dealers. It's been a slightly late start because we had a match in the semi-final of the Flag Cup. It's excitingly won in uh, extra time by Balmain against St George, 17-12. Young being cautioned for a dangerous tackle. Graham Eady, who came right back to form against Balmain last week and earned all sorts of accolades for his performance, and he needed them. He's been playing ordinary football. The to Craig Young. 
who equally had a fine game against Western Suburbs last week, I thought was the outstanding player on the field. Rodriguez. Thompson spills it. And Thompson won't want to make too many mistakes today. His form has been below the high standard he usually sets himself. And the second scrum of the match going to Love and Country come away with Topper making a nice little burst as ready as the tackler. Love on the blind side they come. Williamson took uh, a bit of handling there. There's Paul Graham. This is the player, Graham, that the uh, country coaches and judges are saying that's in for a big future. He's a likely looking lad. Penalty. Against uh, Rod Morris, who are trying to steal the ball in the tackle. Guider is going to take a kick and goal by the look of it, kicking into a light breeze. hasn't kicked the goal and he hasn't kicked it dead so it was a you know that was a decision that could be costly although the defense has moved up very smartly on boosted and pinged him off about 15 meters out Dorothy threw the dummy gone from dummy half Donagus Craig Young running first off the ruck three defenders having to be there to put him down Paponis, Rodonicus, picks up Price out wide. Price goes through the defence. A bit of a hurdle there. Lifts his legs very high to get over a player. Ready, Thompson. That's the way to run onto a pass. Graham Wynn, beautiful. Thompson again, up to halfway. Good continuity there by City. On the blind side, Rodonica screeching for it. There away it goes to Dorothy. Back inside to Price. Price nicely to Morris. Morris can't unload. He does now to Thompson. The pass is out to Crane and drops it behind him. Looks to pass. Can't do so, but takes the tackle. Stood in the pass and got it away well to Reddy. That's good stuff. Reddy falls. Still gets his pass away to Morris. Morris back inside to Renonicus. Renonicus goes to ground with the ball. That was a scintillating bit of football by City and uh, an exercise in keeping the ball alive. Cronin. Dorothy is slicing through. Exciting acceleration takes him into the country quarter. Now Craig Young and the power surge there. He's only 10 metres away and the city back's lying very deep with Edie chiming to look as though he might come in. If they go, oh, win on the burst and <laughs> moving very fast. Thompson, Rodonicus, Cronin, a long loving pass to Edie. Edie's in. Beautiful stuff. pass beautifully done and well taken by Edie. Lovely passing here, Rodonicus. The selective pass by Cronin cut out the Dorothy on the inside and straight away to Edie and that big fellow didn't have a hand laid upon him. From head on. Now the long pass. Now watch Cronin hesitate and stutter and that little extra step. Edie did marvellously well to hold that. I think he's only scored one try from fullback for Manly this year. That was a top one. So after eight minutes of play, a try to Dorothy, a try to Edie and a goal to Cronin. Scoreline, 5-0. So we've got the possibility of getting the ball back on the first tackle. I'm surprised an Australian winger would allow himself to be pushed into touch. Well, City have got it back. That pass was a very bad one. And Country have got it back, so that's one tackle each. Peter Young will be the new captain for Country. Penalty. Offside, City, three-quarter line. Well, this is Paul Melross, I think, who's going to have his first chance of... All right, well, he's only uh, directly in front, virtually, and about 33 metres out. His last kick from a long way out wasn't a bad one. That's successful. So, Wider gets them on the board, so a scoreline now that reads City 5. Country two.
Cronin gives it a mighty reef downfield. It's taken there by Guider. And had the ball stolen from him by big Graham Wynn, who comes steaming away on a circular sort of a run that uh, involves him in about a 30-metre sprint, but not terribly much forward. Rodonigus. Price, change of direction. Pretty Young with a bit of a karate chop to the head then. Back inside to Dorohe. And Reddy gets his hands to it again and unloads. Thompson, quick hands to win. They're paying a lot of attention to win when he handles the ball. They are quick to submerge him. Rod Morris. Dorohe down over there. Rodonigas, the switch of play, out to win again. Price got a pass away, miraculously picked up by Glover. He's uh, very, very close to the line as Dorothy's treated in the background. Let's get back to the action. Here we go. Thompson, ready, straightens. One of the rare occasions that Reddy was unable to get the ball away. Cronin, Craig Young. Beautiful pass to Edie, and he's in for number two. That was an absolute gem of a pass from Craig Young, and Edie, Johnny on the spot, was able to come on the burst as only the big fella can. See it again, round the blind side of the ruck. Ready. Now watch Craig Young's pass. This is quality football. Beautiful stuff. More classically illustrated. That's exactly what he did with Steve Morris last week against Wests. Apparently, John Dore is in a bad way. Alf Richards just sent uh, Rod Reddy to the sideline to request Ted Glossop to go and uh, fetch a doctor. Well, the replacement uh, walking Greg out of the field is Brentnell, the Canterbury Bankstown uh, player. And uh, officials are still treating Dore. And of course, there's two doctors there Rex, Bill Monaghan, the league doctor, and uh, Dr. George Paponis, of course, the city captain. Well, I'm very concerned. Uh, at just as a complete layman here, but they haven't moved him from his stomach, uh, which indicates to me that they're concerned about his well-being spinally. We're seeing this again now. The pass back to Dorohe now. He goes down, submerged. Now, Reddy, the big fellow in the background, appears to me to fall on top of him. Well, exit John Dorohe, and uh, with the best wishes for only entry but in the interim Cronin has raised the flags with a goal and the scoreline hurries along to 10 points to two. Glover back on his feet now. Heaney, well that could have been shepherding, the referee moved towards as though he was going to uh, blow his whistle then up to the quarter line. Heaney, ready. It's gone to ground, Edie picks it up. Paponis, Thompson, Cronin. Lovely pass to Thompson. Thompson's gone streaking away, gets it to Glover. Glover will go hard and close. They knock him down about three metres out. That's good defence. Rodonigus, the pass to Price was a bad one. No knock on, says the referee. It appears uh, very close to a knock on by Young. Cronin with a long pass out to Edie. Edie out to Boosted. Boosted manages to get it back inside. And here's a try coming up for Brentnell, is it? Edie again. He handled in the move in the early part. Let's see it again. That's number three. Along the line. That pass of Cronin's must have been the length of a cricket pitch. That was Edie's pass out to Boosted. There's the Boosted pass back inside to Rod Reddy and then back to Edie. Well, when you come back to form, you come back to form with a vengeance. From head on. Now, what's the length of this Cronin pass? Oh, well, we've seen that. We've gone past that. The boosted pass was a good one to keep the ball alive. And Reddy's pass very selectively done. kick from Cronin is geometrically perfect. 15 to 2. That went directly over the black dot.
talking about Mick Crane and Rex. Uh, you said earlier in the game that Tom Radonikas was playing his 10th consecutive time for City. This is the ninth year, ninth successive year that Mick Crane has been involved in this game. Five times for uh, country and four times for City. Yes, that's some sort of a record, isn't it? Paponis, Radonikas, Young, eight metres from halfway, midfield. That uh, centre part is drying out quite well. It's a beautiful long pass out to Price, who's playing out among the centres most of the day. Very wide. Country starting to be run around in a pretty dramatic fashion now. Cronin has another lovely pass out to Brentnell. Thompson running from dummy half, gets a pass to Reddy. Price again out among the backs, back to Reddy, he ricochets off his shoulder, much too hard. That's the replacement, Stephen O'Callaghan, who came on to, uh, for Mark Wright, the injured captain. I think O'Callaghan is the uh, first player from the Milton Club way down on the far south coast to represent country and he finds himself in the first. The penalty going to country. It's not a bad kick, fairly good gain. Paul Graham. Brian Lovett, dummy half. Oh, bless my soul. Russell Williamson knows how to come on the burst, but he knows he doesn't pick the right ones to run into. A little knock on there. Scrum Winter City with Price getting it from Radonikas. Reddy standing wide, makes the half break, gets it away to Cronin. Cronin's pass to Brentnell is a good one. He's going to sprint away. They're not going to catch him. Thompson's on the inside, but put the glasses down. That was a good try. Showed his pace well. And you'll notice that Brentnell is wearing padded arm or wrist padding because he's had a multiple uh, amount of breaks in his arms. Now there was a nice football from Price to surge away and, and then pull three players to it. Now Reddy standing on the open side or the blind side of the ruck made the break and gave a good pass. Cronin again a good pass. The dummy from Brentnell and he showed his wares. He's pretty toey lad. Little Steve Topper showed his courage to keep chasing from head on. Ready, wrong footing. One player with good footwork, Cronin and Brett, the dummy. And there was just nobody going to catch him there. Steve Toppy will see come into the picture now, the tiny little fellow. He does manage to pick him up a yard, but uh, it was a forlorn effort. The score moves on, 18 points to two. kick is unsuccessful and as, as it was 18 to 2 it remains there's Edie standing as an extra 5-8 a second 5-8 as they used to call it in rugby union days in the all black uh, country the penalty against Topper for an incorrect feed Radonikas going to take Cronin uh, coming up with attempt number seven. Three successes so far. This is not a difficult kick. He's uh, about 15, 18 metres off centre. And he's about 10 metres inside the quarter. No difficulty. 
20 points to two, City Lead Country. Well, the latest information we have on John Dorothy, he has been taken to St Vincent's Hospital and uh, they're still in doubt whether he sustained any orthopaedic damage, in other words, any broken bone or chip bone. But the uh, manifestation of uh, pins and needles and so forth that Alf Richards was talking about would indicate that there could be some orthopaedic damage. Let's hope it's not anything uh, dramatic. Paponis, Price. Price running from dummy half. Five metres inside the country half. Thompson. Cronin. Beautiful pass to Eddie. Chiming in well, but two of them come. He's still standing on his feet. Rodonigas on the blind side to Thompson. Beautiful pass to Reddy. Oh, changed direction of his pass beautifully then to win. I think Peter Young tried a looping right hand there on uh, win, but uh, I can promise you it missed. The scrum five metres outside country's quarter. In the way of time, we consider our clock, and it's not uh, official time, about a minute and a bit to go. About two minutes to go, according to the official time here on the sideline. OK. Paul Graham really uh, taking the ball up hard there. There's Young. I mentioned the city side have got it all over the country for defence. The country really have to try something. They might as well, if they're going to be beaten by 30 or 40 points, it wouldn't be a bad exercise to just to try something different and attack. Guider makes a nice break now. He's got support on the outside, but he's weaved back the wrong way. The pass has gone astray. It's gone over the sideline. No, it hasn't, but he's got it back. It's a back inside to win. Wins careering up the sideline. And now Moosehead's going to score. Manages to get a try out of all that. Good opportunist uh, try. Let's say it again. It was a comedy of errors, really, because Wider came into the side there, into the uh, three-quarter line, injected himself well. He had low outside him, but the pass was a horror. Reddy did a bit of soccer work, picked it up, one-handed it back inside to Wynn, who showed his acceleration and his size, and then away to Little Boost. That again, Topper showing. Plenty of courage to chase, but uh, not the pace to catch that man. Good try. From head on, the stupid comedy of errors that led to this, the bad pass. Now Guida, unable to get the pass even close to anyone. Now there's Reddy. Well, that was, <laughs> well, you've got to give him the magician's act of the week for that one. He's kicked it up in the air and caught it off the ground. I don't believe it. Bless my soul, that's a, that is a weird one. Twenty-five points to two. Win. Hard to see any changes in this. Uh, and at the half-time break, we've got a scoreline that reads City 25, Country 2. Those numbers, that are the changes anyway, and I've been in both dressing rooms. And uh, a number of changes in the uh, countryside. We'll go through them uh, as uh, play gives us the opportunity. There have been four changes. Uh, Neil Eppleston gets on in number 14 for Greg Guider at fullback. Terry Westblade. We've yet to find a number for him, is on at 5'8", in place of Brian Walden. Brian Batiste replaces John Beecher, and Batiste's number is... We think he played a number 22, and they'll stay on that number, we'll check that. And Neville Baldock replaces Russell Williamson, who in uh, number 24, Baldock. So there are the changes. No changes, Barry Ross, in the... Uh, City side, no. City no. side. Now, your latest information on Dorothy? 
Well, it's good news. Uh, Dr. Bill Monaghan doesn't think there's a break of the neck or the back. Um, of course, he can't say this uh, with certainty until he sees the result of the x-rays from St. Vincent's, but he thinks it was pressure on a nerve in the back, and uh, that, is, that is very good news if that is the case. All right, he is at North Shore, uh, at uh, St. Vincent's. Vincent's, rather, and uh, he watched most of the first half here, I'm told. We'll stay until half time. Well, the score at half time, 25 to 2, just an academic exercise now as Glover gets an opportunity to have a sprint up the right, goes through the customary four tackles before he's finally not put down but held up. Played it on the quarter, Morris, Rodonicus, Craig Young, right through, beautiful, gives the pass magnificently to Eady and he's in for number four! Well, this is the head-on shot of that. Now watch Craig Young just slice right through, some terrible defence there from Young. And later to Edie, who was going to give the pass, but finally found himself free of little Steve Topper. And he's laughing his head off as he goes over and says, this is great, I can like to play till 11 o'clock tonight. Cronin's success with the goal makes the uh, score 30 points to two. That player I was trying to think of from Parramatta Rex was Peter Langmack. Langmack scored five. Was it five tries? Five. Or can Graham Eady do that? Well, uh, footballers are funny people. I can tell you now that this city side would all be trying to get Eady in for as many as they can now. Exactly the words that Ted Gossip said at half time. They're not to let country smell a try. Just got to keep working and keep playing the game as they know how. Well, just see if I'm right. If somebody makes a break in this city side and Eady's there to get the pass, I think you'll find he'll get the pass. And even if the other person could have scored. Now, that's a... A little knock on there. The referee has seen that by uh, Stephen O'Callaghan. The scrum will go down five metres outside the city quarter. City come up with possession and the scrums now are six to four in favour of City. The penalties are six to four the same way. West Blade is wearing number 27. He's uh, playing in the 5'8 position. Craig Young. Beautiful pass to Morris. Thompson serves it well out to uh, win. There's Edie again. He's up over halfway, looking for support. He'll knock up scoring tries, this fellow. <laughs> like a fighter that punched himself out. Uh, they're moving it wide now. This is what's killed the country, the precision chain passing of the city side. Look at Reddy tearing holes up the middle here. Now to Rodonicus. Rodonicus unloads to Thompson. Thompson's wrapped up there by uh, Brian Batiste. The Ponus loads a long one out to Wynn. Wynn's absolutely throwing himself at the line. I think he's lost the ball on the tackle. And we've got a player down injured at the moment. On the city side, uh, country side. I think it's Devils from the fullback, number 14. I think he got that trying to tackle ready. Well, he just knocked over Rudy a while ago, so maybe he was spilling the effects from that tackle and then had to stop Reddy. There's the ball on the ground and Cutter have come up with it, but a knock on. They were trying to uh, use a uh, runaround move there. There's Brian Love, the uh, country hookers scrum uh, situation from... 62 from 114, success rate of 54.4. Beatty flicks it nicely to Glover. Absolutely surging at the line right now. City side with Ray Price there and Glover to get up and play it. Price goes from dummy half, he's held up. I don't think he can get him down. Hartley's down in a squatting position. No try, held up. And the scrum will go down right here, as George Paponis knows. Now you can see Price is over the line, went from the field to play into the end goal. And there's Hartley getting a, a referee's eye view of the situation. Country have come up with the ball. And the attendance is on the board, 8,316. Very ordinary crowd.
Well, Sydney people like to see a contest, but uh, we can't disregard the fact that this is a big day for company footballers. And when we repeat again that there were out of the 13 City first side, 13, uh, 10 of them came from either New South Wales or Queensland country areas and one from Rugby Union. It's indicative that there aren't too many homegrown big time footballers in uh, Sydney. Great kick. Country player being treated, I think, for cramp in back play. I think it's Batiste, Brian Batiste, the replacement uh, second rower. So they'll have to pack this scrum without him. Oh, you're Did you hear the, <laughs> one of the country players yell out, oh, you're joking. Thompson, Cronin, flops a little pass up to Evie. It was beautifully done. Nicely back into Brentnell. Floated it nicely to Cronin, magically off the ground. Back to Evie. They're playing touch football. Glover. Back inside to Reddy. Reddy looking for Cronin and he gets it to him and Cronin's in. Yes! There's your try of the match. Put the glasses down for the try of the match. Sydney 33, Country 2. See it again and enjoy it. Watch this stuff. This is quality. Watch Cronin's involvement. That first one, the little flop pass. Edie's turning back inside to Brenton. Now watch Cronin half volley this on the move. Beautiful. Edie again, nicely inside to Glover, and now Reddy, Reddy was always going to do something with a little topper, he finally put him down, but he was able to get the pass away, and what's the way Cronin goes over backwards, and one-handed, very clever stuff, Mick Cronin for the man most involved with that try, three times he's handled the ball, twice to set it up, watch this volley on the move, not an easy thing to do, I promise, all deserving of uh, an award beautifully inside to Glover. There's Reddy. Now watch little Steve Topper, only about five foot one, about seven, eight stone ringing wet. And the, the beautiful way he put the ball down. Tenth kick and goal from a wide angle. He's kicked it! Sydney Cricket Ground, 35 to 2. 29 points between the two, he says, between Edie and uh, Cronin. I'm talking of point scoring, Mick Cronin now has uh, 52 points for, for City in these games, in four matches. And with his 24 for uh, the four country games, at 75 he scored in these games. Rodonicus has had a, a top game too. He's uh, done everything right today. He's been very unselfish, just unloaded, unloaded. Knows he's got brilliant outside men in these conditions against overawed defence. Scrum win to Country. Little Topper trying to burrow his way around. Well, it's just an academic point. Uh, country have used five replacements in this match so far. Is there any replacement rule? Yes, four. Well, they did four at half time, and uh, Mark Wright was replaced early. I think it's purely academic, but uh, that's a good point. Who's counting? <laughs> Topper. Out it comes, a little chip over the top, something they should have been doing a little bit earlier. By arms is the referee. No, he doesn't. He says that was a wee knock on. The horse has bolted, the gate's been open too long for Country to worry really about tactical moves now. They've got to uh, just keep tackling. Ray Price. Oh, lovely pass to Boostead. I don't think they'll catch him. Number 14, Neil Emerson goes for him. But uh, that's a, a beautiful bit of football. Top pass. Boosted. He likes scoring them. <laughs> well, it's only a small crowd, but they're really enjoying themselves. They're seeing some quality football. Look at this pass from Price. Look, just a little shove into the stomach and says, off you go, mate. 60 hours to go. See you later. Appleston did everything he could, but what do you do when a man's too fast? He started laughing about there, and he hasn't stopped now. Boosted, two tries. Edie, four tries. Brettnell, one try. Cronin, one try. 
and uh, a hat full of goals. <laughs> yes, he likes scoring tries. Conan's kick and goal was successful. Well, there's still uh, plenty of time to go. This could end up a score something around the record. What was it, 58 or something you said, Barry? Well, the highest point scored by City was in 1958. They won the match 55 to 14, and but the biggest margin was the year before, 57, when they won 53 to 2. And I think you may have played in those games, Rex. Yes, I had the good fortune to play in both those. Didn't score any tries, but... You were the only one not to score a try. I was the only one not to score. Mind you, I had a lot of bad luck. Clean heel to country. Topper comes up with the ball. Country get the ball so rarely and keep it for hardly any time. Young Melross, who had it then... Uh, came into this game with a huge rap on him but he's just been submerged like most of the country players. The book has uh, done a fair job. He's held his own, hasn't he, at this stage? Yes, he hasn't done too badly. The statistics at this point are 10 to 7. The Pantus has gone away with the uh, the scrums in the second half a little bit. Just in front of the halfway line now. Good quick pass. Just no way through that defence. Young. And that's the six. Well, that's one of the rare occasions that country have kept the ball for the full six. Another scrum went of opponents, a good one. They're pushing them off the ball virtually. That's what is happening. As soon as the uh, ball is put in, the big... City pack just go heave ho and uh, push Papanas over it. Cronin, back to ready. It's me the way he does that, an object lesson to young footballers with strength, Rodonicus. Nicely to Boosted. Oh yes, back to Morris. Five metres inside country's half. 40 points to two the score. Young, Thompson, still going. Cronin stood up in the tackle as he's done but all the two occasions today. Rodonicus, Paponis, Wynn, Reddy, featuring in almost everything that's going. There's Price. Price gets it away to win and wins him for the drive. Absolutely classic football. The idea of keeping the ball alive. And country now being absolutely submerged by the size and strength and their inability to put the tackle player on the ground like that. They're making the ball do the work. Little Rodonicus, C held but not put down. Paponis, win held but not put down. Ready, held but not put down. Price, held but not put down. Win into the clear. He handled the ball twice on that move. Another splendid try. That's the first try scored by a forward from head on. Thompson's very deliberate turning back in of the ball to Cronin really started it. See so Edie on the burst there trying to get involved in the play. He's looking for number five. Ready. Price and win again. So he's been involved in the play twice in uh, 35 metres. 45 to 2. I thought that... Uh, change in households that percolated through to the country area. George Papona scrums won 76 from 140, success rate 43, 40, 54.3. That's the Sydney Premiership record to this point. Another scrum win there. Rodonicus Paponis, ready. The ball on the ground, nobody there to pick it up, Edie. Dummied. Glover. That wing is giving uh, Glover a bit of a bad time out there. Rodonicus, Paponis. George is starting to run like a, a three-quarter now. Thompson. Delicious pass out to Reddy. That pass is knocked down. The price is back for it. It should be six to go, I would have thought. The referee doesn't indicate that. Thompson. Edie. McCronin, 
Bang. Right through, just knocked the player out of the way. The pass is a horror. Six to go now. Six to go, the referee says. Brandon actually patted that country player on the back for a good tackle. Young Thompson. The Ponis' pass is a bad one, goes straight to the country player. And they've got the ball back again. How long can they keep it? Topper. 45 points to two. Young. I think there's just a few long memories in this uh, city side for Peter Young. A couple of players have had a bit of a chop at him every time he's had the ball. Just a, a moment ago, there was a disagreement between Young and uh, Ray Price. Country player down in the background being treated. I just can't quite see the number at this stage. Boosthead back with Edie to uh, assist. Now uh, Boosthead just goes away. And number 22 there, uh, Brian Batiste, had uh, crap at his legs and just couldn't go over the tackle. Cronodigus, Price, right through, ready, long floating pass anywhere, but there it goes, they, they really are turning on some magnificent entertainment here, the city side, look at this stuff, ready, that's one tackle. to try for a long while. I love skill and that was skill. Watch it again. It's only touch football. We're not talking about Australia versus England or any a game of any great moment. It's de developed into a, an exhibition. But just the quality of some of the things that are happening. The ball alive. Now, ready, there was nowhere to go up the blind side. He evades one tackle. Now, watch this. That is a sweeter bit of football as you'll see. And Wynn comes up with two tries. Two last week, two this week. Cronin. Pilots that over nice and easily. Ten, that's 23 points uh, he's been responsible for in uh, a 50 point to two tally. A try and ten goals. One can't help but feel a little bit sorry for the... Uh, country team to uh, come up against a test strength uh, football team and now they've degenerated to the point they're kicking the ball out on the full or inspiring moment for a lot of these youngsters first penalty of the second half the scrums for Ponis starting to surge away 12 to 7 young Nigel Love did uh, Brian Love did a pretty fair job it's a towering kick from Brentnell. The penalties are 7-4 City's way. Now the crowd are yelling for another try. They've seen uh, 10. 10 tries and 10 goals. Glover. Beautiful pass there. And there could be another country replacement. Number 29, Neil Pengilly is on the sideline. Pernus, Rodonicus, Thompson. Ray Price wrapped up only uh, about 15 metres out. Thompson. Win. Thompson went on the outside of him then, calling for the ball. Rodonicus, Cronin, Edie, Thompson. Anywhere. Back inside to win. The passing is just too smart. Look at this, Ray Price. The passing is just too crisp, too smart. The men playing the boys. Say it again. 53 to 2. Ready. Rodonicus, who's had a top game. Just unloaded. There was just a hole there that uh, you'll see from the uh, head-on shot that uh, a fairly large cumbersome Horse and cart could have been driven through. Again, Craig Young involved in that. And Price in for the try. So the forward's starting to get into the act now that the country defence is shredded. 53 to 2. 
official time, Barry? About 16 minutes to go. Oh, gee. Anything can happen in 16 minutes. Cronin comes in. It's another one. That's uh, 11 goals and 11 tries. That kick, um, Neil Tengilly uh, came on wearing number 29 in place of Terry Westblade. And that kick of Cronin's Rex, I think that uh, 55 points is the highest score ever by City against Cutley and there's a new, uh, well at the present time, 55 to 2, that's 53 points of difference, that's the biggest margin ever. Right, with uh, still 15 minutes to go, 15 minutes and 5 seconds. Proponis, Rodonagas, just incapable of putting the man down with the ball, that's uh, country's problem. Rodonagas, Thompson, Craig Young, Edie, Brentnell, well tackled, what a pass to Thompson, and the way to win, win looking for number three. Rodonagas, Cronin, Edie, Brentnell again, and that's the six. to go. And the scrum went to Papanis. Rodonagas. Nicely to Edie. Craner wrapped up. Unloads finally to Price who knocks on. The crowd give a yell of disappointment at that. They wanted another try. Papanis really getting some possession now. Thompson. Unloaded well to Rodonagas. Read it ready. Didn't give it on the outside. <laughs> Gave it back to Brentnell who picks it up. No, the referee says knock on. Just getting a bit too fancy. Only one penalty in the second half so far. There's the error situation. It's totally non-significant today because... City have had so much ball they can do exactly what they want with it. Top of to feed the ball. He's being told he can't stand on the side of the screen and pick the ball out. Got to retire. Cronin says, do I have to kick another goal? He must be having a sore foot. Shaves it to the right. Country get the ball back into uh, the field of play. Then Galley. Big Young to his feet. Still inside their quarter. Topper. over the top, not rolling in the sideline direction, Graham Edie has it, changed direction beautifully, 10 metres from halfway. Alan Thompson running sideways, just using one ruck to set the team up because a few of them were a bit bunched there, now they're okay. Rodonicus, Craig Young. Well, they contain him that occasion. Couldn't get the pass unloaded. Big win. Tears his way through paper thin defence. Ready. Got a pass away. I don't know who it was intended for, but Morris has it now. Had to fall down to get it. Craig Young, Ray Price, one-handed, 
Rodonigas, who's always in position. And Rod Morris unable to handle that Rodonigas pass. Well, with... Uh, we consider 10 minutes to go. Uh, Barry Ross is sitting beside the coach of the city uh, team, Ted Glossop, who I think must be pretty happy. Give him my congratulations, Barry. Ted, congratulations on your first up effort uh, in a representative side. A great effort by the boys. Uh, you've used the right words there, Barry. It's a great effort by the boys out there on the paddock. They've played very good team football and individually they've shone. I just can't welcome in and watch this race from the country. Well, City have come up with the ball and uh, it's been a knock on, so continue on. Ted, at half time you told the boys to don't let the country boys in for a cent of a try and just keep on scoring tries, and they've done that. Well, they have. It's, uh, it's great for me to be associated with such a group of players, and they deserve all the accolades you can give them. They've played it, played it with a lot of heart, too, and they're just flogging themselves even at this late stage. They've got a lot of pride and they're not going to let country in if they can possibly avoid it. Tell me, Ted, do you envisage any changes in the, uh, from the city side and the state side to be announced tomorrow night? My personal opinion would be the state selectors would be at present sitting up there smiling because this side here has played exceptionally well and they deserve to be state players. One quick uh, comment, Ted. There are many things to come from this game. A new record, it looks like, and uh, points scored against city and so against country and so on. But anything you've noticed to come from the game, any individual work? No, I think the great, the great feature about their play is the fact that they, they play for each other and, and that's the way we've been talking all the week. Play for each other and the tries will come and full marks for every one of them out there today. The voice of uh, Ted Glossop, uh, very delighted and needs to be congratulated. Coach of the city side because he's done a great job with them. Pushing themselves, there's no slackening off at this stage. Everyone's trying to get more tries. Thompson slips. Opponents now coming away with a big scrum win, 16 to 8, that's 2 to 1. Ray Price. And Donigas, who's been a great little general. Ready, Price, Morris, one-handed nicely to Thompson. Country absolutely at sixes and sevens. I don't know where the attacks are going to come from and who's going to be involved. There's Wynn back inside the boost head. Wrong foots his man. No, he doesn't. Lowe manages to dive and trip him. Player being treated in the background as a country player. No, should he play it? Tom, Tom Redonigas. Tom Redonigas. Ready? Ready can be uh, majestic in this mood. A uh, little doubt about his quality, the, the strength and the size of the man is uh, uh, self-evident, but the thinking football brain there when he, uh, some of the things he does, he's quite de uh, definitely a quality player. Alan, Albeit at times a slightly lazy player, but he's quality. Alan Thompson was the half of Sydney in that uh, scrum. Tommy Rodonica still out in the centres after being treated by Alf Richards. Country with six and a half minutes further to go through this torture, this anguish. The crowd will really raise the roof if they manage to score a try, but there has been precious little evidence of it. But again, I don't think they've knocked up trying. I, I believe they've tried their hearts out. They've just been overwhelmed by infinitely better footballers. the third of the second half, two have gone to City, one has gone to Country. The kick is a good one, brings play back towards the halfway line. Country now with everybody hoping they can get up into an attacking situation and perhaps get a three-pointer. Yeah. 
something I'd like to do just at the conclusion of this telecast is, hello, here's Stephen Lowe, they put into the clear. He's done well, got a pass back inside nicely to support. And uh, Nigel Love, Brian Love's lost the ball. I think City have come up with it. They have. Brian Love, the hooker, ran into uh, all sorts of trouble there in the shape of Ray Price. Cronin. Ready. Go again. Win. Country prop ne Neville Bulldog being treated in back play. And just at the conclusion of this telecast, it's my uh, understanding that uh, Frank Hyde is unwell at the moment. Frank, of course, the doyen of Radio Rugby League callers. And uh, I believe he's missed today's match. And uh, perhaps will miss the weekend's round. And uh, if he's watching, I wish him the best and hope that he puts in an appearance soon again. So his many fans will miss him. Stephen O'Callaghan, who came on originally as a replacement for Mark Wright, suggests he switched around a few times. His love, the hooker. He came off his foot, play on, the referee says, topper. Long floating pass out to uh, Lowe. He manages to get it away to uh, Bengali. Hebbleston captured on the sixth. We're inside the last five minutes. There's a scrum went to uh, City with Edie being called upon to take the pass from Wodonicus. Ready on his knees, gives that one. Thompson, Cronin, quick hands. Lovely pass out there to Brentnell. Brentnell's showing plenty of good pace. Oh, I thought Glover was going to get to that pass. <clears throat> no knock on, says the referee. Hebbleston, Young, then Galley. Long, poor Milros run very nicely to, out to number 15 there, Stephen O'Callaghan. Tackle over there, good, good cover there by Graham Eady. And that uh, must have brought a smile to the face of uh, their coach, Ted Gossel. But uh, country trying hard, City determined they won't score. 55 points to two, City Lou. Run through the try scorers in the 11 tries as they win another scrum. Edie has scored four. Cronin has scored one. Brentnell has scored one. Boosted has scored two. Ray Price has scored one. Graham Winner scored two. And Cronin has kicked 11 goals from 15 attempts. About one minute of time to go. Can the City boys get it up to uh, 60? Is ready. Rodonicus leaves it behind. It ricocheted off his chest. Country have it back. And uh, for the countryside, sad to report that Greg Guido was their only scorer with a penalty goal. That'll be a knock-on. This will probably be the last scrum of the match. The scrums have finished up a massive 18 to 9 in favour of George Pomponis, 18 to 10. The penalties have been fairly even, 8 to 5 in favour of City. Tom Rodonicus has a knee problem. Let's hope it uh, won't cause him to miss tomorrow's game for Newtown against Penrith. Well, a lot of these players are going to be very sore. It hasn't been a hard game in the sense of... Uh, body contact but they've run in a huge amount of distance today the backing up by some of the city players has been unbelievable 
And that takes its toll. Yes, and of course they've all got important games tomorrow and they'd be thinking about that immediately they come off, trying to get those injuries right, those bumps and bruises. Well, time just about up as far as our clock's concerned. Yeah, it's just about to press the button here too. And there's a ricochet. Play on, six to go. Maybe this is the try. Oh, and he's knocked on. How's Appleston? The line was virtually open. There's the Hooter, so it's all over. And City have come out winners in both games by 17 to 16 in the second team and 55 points to two. I'll be back in a moment with our man of the match and a chat about tomorrow's telecast. Difficult job today was the selection of the man of the match. Graham Eady was the man we finally arrived at because of his four tries, three in a row at one stage. An incredibly good performance, but it was almost impossible to separate Reddy and Wynn, the St George's pair, and also Craig Young, uh, their prop forward, who all had absolutely outstanding games. I thought it was a marvellous exhibition of football, even allowing for the uh, 11 tries and 12 goals that we saw in the match. And interesting to note that eight of the tries for the City side among their 11 came from backs, only three from forward. So that in itself speaks volumes to the way the side is playing and backing up the man with the ball. Well, so much for City Country, a, a massive win, uh, 55 to 2. Now, tomorrow our telecast is of uh, the match between Parramatta and Manly Warringah from Brookvale Oval. 